Next stop on the St. Louis tour, ah. Grant's Farm. Yes. This is where the Clydesdales live. Yeah. The Budweiser Clydesdales. Uh -huh. So uh, there's a bunch of other stuff to do out here too. I don't know what all it entails. Yeah. But it seems like it's gonna be a fun day. It's a great day for it. Great day out here weather-wise, other than it's a little warm. But yeah. uh, they seem to be out anyway, uh -huh. doing stuff. They got a little petting zoo here. Yeah. So we get to see that. Well, we get to see like the actual farm. The tour they said is, is like 75 that minutes long. long. So I'm yeah. sure there's a lot to see it. in that. Mm -hmm. And at the end, free beer. <laughs> Here's to you, Mr. Going on the Close Up Clydesdale Tour Guy. Mr. Going on the Clydesdale Close Up Tour Guy. <laughs> nice. There's a difference in the horseshoe sizes from a pony to a regular horse. These are Clydesdales. Holy crap! It's a baby Clydesdale. He's as big as a regular horse. This baby Clydesdale is as big as a regular full-size horse. This is an 80-acre farm. Used to be home of Ulysses S. Grant. Anheuser-Busch acquired the property in 1907. And the Clydesdales have been out here since the 1950s. Part of our tour is going to allow us to pet the Clydesdales. This is 12 years old. Master, he's quite the yes. character. And he weighs 1,855. <laughs> oh, wow. This is Bear. And Bear is a commercial horse. And what it means when they're a commercial horse, <laughs> that means that uh, Bear has been in a, a Budweiser commercial before. So he's a celebrity. Here comes a couple of the younger ones. These are about eight, nine months old. When they're born, they're about 140 to 150 pounds. When they're born, and uh, you notice, uh, hi. Uh, hi. The requirements for these Clydesdales to be on a hitch or a or a team is they have to have certain markings. They have to have the white face. They have to have the feathered feet, and they have to have black mane and a black tail. And you notice these guys have blonde tails. Usually, as they get older, the tails will turn dark. But if they don't, uh, then they could become commercial horses to be on TV or they could be sold out to like law enforcement agencies or private owners. Just so you know, this, this right here has electricity running through it. Ask me how I know. Thank you to the sponsor of today's video, RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. One of the first things you're always going to want to do when you get your new RV is change out the mattress. Absolutely. Because the mattresses that come in these things, <laughs> it's like sleeping on plywood, yes. honestly. Mm -hmm. um, we have the Aurora Lux. Yes in the soft, oh, yeah. in the RV King, <laughs> and it regulates our body temperature. It has like science going on in there that yeah. keeps you at a perfect 88 degree sleeping temperature. But if that's not for you, they have a bunch of different styles, a bunch of different firmnesses, yes. and they're custom made for RVs. Yes. So they will fit in RVs, exactly. unlike some regular mattresses that you'll find in the store. They also come with a 120 night sleep trial, a 10 year warranty, and free shipping directly from the factory in Arizona. They don't just have mattresses. No. They have accessories. I love accessories. We have the pillows, the sheets. Um, our daughter has one of their weighted, weighted blankets. blankets. They yeah. also have mattress protectors and all kinds of other accessories. Hey, check this out. This is the most coolest part. We can save you 25% mm -hmm. on your next RV mattress with RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. All you gotta do is pop over to the link in the description of the video and use the promo code WAGS and save 25% at checkout. This is Viper. He's getting a bath. He get a bath once a week. This is where they will do all their grooming. This is where they will do all their veterinary, their dental, and where they will fix their horseshoes if they need repairing. This is our entire tour group right here. Everybody on this entire tour group just got up onto the scale. And when we got onto the scale, we almost weighed as much as Pete, which is their largest Clydesdale on site. And we're getting ready to go meet Pete here in a few minutes. <laughs> Leslie has a horse tooth, a Clydesdale horse tooth. Look how huge that thing is. <laughs> That's so big. Oh my God. This is Lad. Lad is ignoring us. The Lad has been in two Budweiser commercials. So, superstar. 
That was really cool getting to groom the yeah. Clydesdale. I think you hit a spot too. Yeah. Because he was like, was nah, nah, really like yeah, yeah, the tongue came out. You were the only one that like, when you were grooming him, the, when the you tongue did started. It, he, he got Oh, did he get a little excited like, when I was oh, grooming? Yeah. Oh, that's the spot, baby, right the there. Video. We got the touch. Yeah, we got, <laughs> got the special touch. The Clydesdale touch. <laughs> we know where the spot is on a Clydesdale. Apparently we're good at finding <laughs> the spot. The spot. <laughs> <laughs> well, we finished up with the Clydesdales and now we're at Brant's farm. Oh. And it, you have to take a tram to get over here, which I'm really glad that you have to take yeah, a tram to nice. get over here. All kinds of animals on the tram ride. We got, what all do we see? Elk, bison, deer. Donkeys. Donkeys, longhorns. Uh, geese, of course. Ge yeah. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff out there. And then when we get here, as soon as we pull up, the peacocks. Oh, and the peafowls, but oh, the peacocks. They're showing oh, out today. They were showing, they were strutting. Yeah. And so here they have all kinds of animals up here. They got baby goats that you can feed. Yes. Um, we did pass a couple of things that I wanted to point out too. Um, Ulysses S. Grant's house. Yes. From when he lived here on the property is still here. And it is one of two houses that were hand built by U.S. presidents President. and lived in by U.S. presidents. There's only one other and it's up in New York and that was President Fillmore. Yeah. So one of two. Very We've impressive. not seen. Very yeah, cool to see cool. that piece of history. Yeah. There's one other thing I wanted to mention. When we were on the tram, the fence line to our left, each rung on that fence is the muzzle of a rifle from a soldier in the Civil War. Over 2,500 muzzles of rifles from the Civil War make up that fence. That is insane, but a very, very cool fact and really cool to see. Ah, hey, you can ride camels. That's awesome. I don't think I've ever seen a camel get a bath before, but the first time for everything, I guess. <laughs> That's awesome. He's all foamed up. <laughs> well, now we're going into some kind of a German village or town or something down here. They probably have like little shops and eateries and, oh yeah, this is cool. It's like a beer garden, man. Is this where the free beer is? I believe so. Yes. Oh, this is cool in here. Yes. They got all the coaches that the Clydesdales pulled. Yes. This whole place is impressive. It is, man. I, way, way more, more than, than what I thought I it was going to be. Grant's farm wasn't going to be that big of a deal. I didn't either. I thought we were just going to go feed a couple goats and call it a day. But totally this is really like cool. Four or five hour day out yeah. there. Yeah. I think it's about uh, free beer 30. Free beer 30. <laughs> yeah. Let's go get some free beer. Well, we finally get to sit down and relax. Yeah. Enjoy our beer and pretzel. Bavarian pretzel. And lemonade. Yeah. That's pretty boring. So the crazy part is we had to pay like three bucks for your lemonade and my beer was free. <laughs> Fight me. Give me some of that pretzel. With cheese? Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.